big enough to take these broken hearts and put them in it. Now I'm driving round on the boulevard, trunk bleeding. And every time the cops pull me. Good morning. You guys are probably like, wait, this looks awfully familiar. Why are you wearing the same outfit? Why are you not in your gym clothes? What's going on? I have to take content today because I don't have any Instagram pictures. You know what, hold on. I, I actually gotta go, like I'm gonna be late. We're not going to the gym today because I have to take content for Instagram. Like that's my number one priority right now. But first I need a haircut. So we're gonna go get this haircut. We're gonna eat lunch. And then we're gonna go pick up my cousin Ava. And then we're gonna go take content. Oh my God, I meant to put up a Q&A on my Instagram story for you guys because I wanted to do a Q&A. Not me texting and driving. First question is where is this outfit from? This outfit is from a couple different places. This is ASOS. This hoodie is from Aloe. These jeans are from Levi's and the shoes are Adidas Sambas. How was your 2023 overall? I think 2023 was like honestly one of the best years of my life. It was one of like the biggest growing phases of my life like as far as my job and like my goals and my aspirations I feel like 2023 was like crazy like I really got into it in 2023 so I think 2023 was great really the highlight for 2023 for me was just like going to Europe for like such a long time really like opened my eyes to like the world um because I had never been to Europe before but it is just like literally that's the only thing I talk about like to all of my friends and all of my family like what motivates me to wake up and go to the gym every day what motivates me to continue on <laughs> so dramatic <laughs> is going to Europe this summer like I cannot wait to be back in Europe this summer oh this is actually a fun one who are my favorite content creators right now I really like Monet McMichael like she's really great creator she just be putting in work into her videos honestly though she's like really like she inspires me as a creator seeing like how far she's gotten and like her journey like it's been so amazing for her somebody said hi from new york what's up new york i'll actually be in new york in february so if there's any new york girls out here stay on the lookout what is my most played song right now? Probably anything from Pink Friday 2. I'm looking at my Spotify. Anything from Pink Friday 2. Anything from the Renaissance album. But also this one is like my favorite right now for some reason. I don't know. Slim Good by Frank Ocean. Oh my god, you guys, these are really good questions. If you weren't in social media, what would you do? P.S. I love you. First of all, love you too. Um, if I wasn't in social media... Okay, so a little back... Ugh. Bitch, I don't know. Like, I think if I wasn't in social media, I would probably be doing something in fashion, like trying to start my own clothing brand or trying to start my own brand or being an entrepreneur. Okay, I hate, like the system like oh my god going to school and you have like a limited amount of options and you pick from those and like everybody is just so caught up in that system like you have to break it you have to think outside of the box and so that's probably what I would be doing right now if I wasn't a creator like I would be thinking like how can I become a creator how can I um I don't know, how can I just do something that's not normal? Before I was a creator, who's driving the car right now? Hold on, let me put one hand on the wheel. <laughs> Before I was a creator, I was actually going to school for med school. I was like, I don't know, I really did want to be a doctor. I graduated college with a major in biological sciences and a minor in public health, period. I'm a genius and I was going to be in medical school. That was my dream, that was my goal, that was my aspirations. That's all I wanted to do with my life was be a doctor until my junior year. Junior year came around and then all of a sudden I was like, wait, 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 wait. This does not sound like fun. I waited too late to start shadowing in the hospital to actually see what a real doctor does in the hospital. I was like, O-M-G, I hate this. Like, I can't do this shit. And then that was also the same time that I was, like, I started creating. And then that was also the same time where I was supposed to be taking my MCAT. 
I was like, mm, I don't know if I'm going to make it really as a full-time creator right now, so let me just stick with this. I studied for the MCAT for three months. For three months, I studied for the MCAT. January came around. My MCAT was like in January, and I was like, fuck it. I'm not doing it. I was like, I don't want to be a doctor. Why? I don't want to, like, I was like, I don't want to do it. Like, why am I going to take the MCAT? Why am I going to go to med school if I don't want to be a doctor? Like, my passion changed so quickly. I surprised so many people around me because, like, all they've ever heard was that I wanted to be a doctor. I was a like, diehard doctor, like, diehard straight A's. Like, I was just, like, full, full force, tunnel vision. And then my passion changed in front of my own eyes. And I was like, holy shit. Like, I think realizing that in that moment really helped me because, like, don't do something that you don't like. Don't do something that you don't love. Like, change it up. Especially when you're young. Like, I'm young, and a lot of you guys are young as well. Like, take this time to be creative. Take this time to think out of the box. Take this time to fail. So that's what I did. I finished up my junior year and my senior year. But while I was finishing that up, I was trying to build my platform, and I was building and building, building my platform. And then, like, it just so happened that my senior year is when I got signed to my first like influencer agency, which helps you to make money and monetize yourself. Did you have a job before stepping foot into being a full-time influencer? Yes, girl, I did. Um, my very first job was, oh God, this was such a long time ago. This was probably like when I was in high school. I was a lifeguard. Eh, I was like the hottest lifeguard ever. Kids were so fucking stupid. Like, no, 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 no. This one mom would always come to the pool, right? and she would literally never watch her kid. And he was so small that he would drown in like the three foot pool. And so like, she's literally tanning, right? As her three year old is repetitively running away from her and drowning. After lifeguarding, I worked at Tim Hortons. Tim Hortons was a job, bitch. Oh my God. I commend anybody who works in fast food because that shit is crazy. Funny story about Tim Hortons, I actually quit because the manager threw a chair at me. Forgot about this. But what happened was, so I was making these, um, you know like those, um, uh, like those catering boxes almost, like where you can get like a really big like gallon of coffee and like 12 cups and creamers. I was making those boxes, but I was folding them in the office and the manager walks in. She was just, she was just like such a cunt. Wait, sorry, that was mean. She was a bitch. She walks into the office and she was like, I need a chair. And I was like sitting on a chair making it. Like, I don't think that she liked that I was sitting on a chair making these. Like she wanted me to stand. Like she wanted me to do more work. And I was like, okay, there's a chair literally right outside the door that was another chair. I was like, there's a chair right there. She was like, no, I want your chair. I said, bitch, what? I said, there's literally a chair right there. She was like, no, I want that chair. They were the same chair, you guys. They were literally the same chair. I was like, okay, I'm always like the better person. I was like, here, take this chair. I'll take that one. When she finishes with the chair, she comes back. She fucking threw the chair at me. She literally threw the chair at me. My mom heard this story. She called the fucking district manager of Tim Hortons and was like, this bitch just threw a chair at my son. Like he checked the cameras and everything. And he was like, oh my God, she's fired. Like, I'm so sorry. They were scared we were going to press a lawsuit or something. Throughout college, I was a caretaker. I was a caretaker for my sister. So my sister has special needs. Through this company, like you can basically get paid. You can get paid like helping family members or like other people who have special needs. Um, so I was a caretaker for my sister for like three years before transitioning into a creator. You guys, we're eating in the car today. There was literally not a single seat available in there. Every time that my camera's here and the viewfinder is here as well, when I put my car in reverse, instead of looking at the screen, I'll look at this viewfinder and then I get so confused. Oh, oh my God. I'm literally gonna knock my barber out with this salmon breath. I never see them. And I got this black suit on. Rolling around like I'm ready for a funeral. Roll. Five more miles to the world runs out. It's called a low drop fade because so it's a low fade but then in the back it drops to kind of like leave you'll see hold on can you guys see that oh we're gonna go take pics time to choose from or do you want to just skip? so i recently switched agencies to like literally my dream agency basically how influencing works is like once you have a platform um an agency will reach out to you or you reach out to them to represent you 
And then when they represent you, like they contact brands, they bring you brand deals, they negotiate your brand deals, they build you as like a business. Um, there's like a whole business behind this that like a lot of people just have no idea about. I made a little post about it on my story, but I switched to my dream agency who reached out to me back in December, like a month ago. When I tell you my jaw dropped, when they reached out, I was like, me? Their name is written like all over my journal. Like that was like my top agency like that I wanted to be represented by. Took a long time though, it took about two years, but we made it thankful and like I'm so grateful that they reached out to me. It wouldn't be possible without you guys, so thank you guys, for real. Should we move back to the q and I'm pretty sure a bunch of more questions came through. How tall are you? I am about 5'11", last time I checked. Hopefully I didn't shrink anymore. Advice is to go to the gym for the first time. Listen, it's never easy, like I still struggle with going to the gym, like you just have to push yourself. Like, you have to want it. Like, you know, like, you have to want it yourself. You have to be patient and you have to be consistent. Results take a lot of time and like, anything that you do. And so if I had one piece of advice, it's just to get up, go, and stay consistent and stay at it. It's not easy. Hi, do you live in Paris? No, I wish I did, though. How is your love life? T. I don't have one, you guys. I'm not talking to anybody. Although I'd like to. Just nobody's really piqued my interest. Hold on, how old were you when you found out you were gay? What brand do you want to collab with? Okay, hold on. Have you ever had a boyfriend? No, I had a situation ship. <laughs> my favorite gym memory? I don't have one. What drove you to take an interest in fashion, gym, and skincare? I've always had like a passion for them, and so what drove me was kind of content creating, like that I was able to integrate my passions into my content and then like kind of just grow from there and share my favorite things with my audience. I saw you at the Grove one time, but I was embarrassed to say hi. Aw, don't be embarrassed. If you guys ever see me in public, like come up to me. Like I love meeting you guys. It's like the coolest thing ever. How do you choose your outfit for the day? If I don't have an outfit and I'm trying to find an outfit, like it's just a mess. Like there are clothes everywhere. There's multiple outfits being tried on and I'm just like, throwing a fit until I find the outfit that I like. My zodiac sign, I'm a Gemini. It scares a lot of people, but I swear to God, I am not a two-faced bitch. Everybody thinks a Gemini is a two-faced bitch. Crazy, I'm crazy, but like crazy funny. Like, um, I just do crazy shit. Do you listen to Adele? Please tell me you do. I do listen to Adele, I love Adele. I actually really wanted to see her in Vegas. Do you have any autopilot extension on your Tesla? Yes, I do. They actually just changed the autopilot on here. It used to be like really kind of hands-free. There's some federal regulation to where like it makes you check the wheel like every certain amount of time. It's not as like free anymore. Like you have to actually be paying attention, which you should be anyway. <laughs> but I used to be able to get away with a lot more. What toothpaste are you using? Pressed 3D white. Arctic Fresh is the best. It will actually whiten your teeth. Oh. Hi guys, we picked up Ava. Hold on everyone, can you give me a second? Just trying to do a little fit check. And I added this hat, I think it looks cute. And I usually don't wear beanies, so something different. Your guys' job is to watch us take content, okay? I just love when pictures effortlessly eat. Mm -hmm. That's what just happened right now. Mm -hmm. Look at these, look at these, hold on. Oh my goodness. Facetune who? Mm -hmm. Who facetunes? Think you the shit, bitch. You not even the fart. I think I like this little life. It's Ava's turn to take pictures now. really scary. What is that? Okay, we're gonna answer some questions from the Q&A. When are you coming to London? I've actually had like a couple people. Ooh, hold on, I need to post my TikTok, be right back. I had like a bunch of people ask if I'm going to London this summer. I am going to London. We are going to London. Summer 24, because that's the one place we didn't go. Do you ever feel pressure to keep up with social media? Yes, I do. I think I only feel pressured to be like consistent and stay consistent. 
not really keep up because I'm only keeping up being consistent really. But yeah, I do feel pressured to post like every day on TikTok, a couple times a week on Instagram. If there was one designer brand you would work with, who would it be? I think like Bottega Veneta for sure. I love them. I'm gonna name a couple. I can't just name one. Prada, Louis Vuitton, and Dior. I think those are like the main ones that I would love to work with. My favorite food is sushi, I think. But I also love Mexican food recently. I don't know what's going on. Got a boyfriend? No. I don't. <laughs> what are the most comfy undies that you own for everyday wear? Calvin Klein. I get them on Amazon, actually. I'll, I'll link them in the bio, but those are the ones that I wear every day, and they're so comfortable. What are your top three fast food meals? I actually don't eat a lot of fast food, but I like McDonald's. Like, I can go for McDonald's occasionally. Hi, guys. I just finished at the gym. Getting ready for the day right now. Little update on the gym situation. The manager just doesn't want to allow tripods, period, which means I'm going to have to find a new gym. She was really nice about it, though. It just doesn't make any sense. She was basically telling me, like, that I was allowed to film i'm just not allowed to use a tripod which makes no sense um, they just have a concern that people are going to trip over the tripod i think honestly honestly i think what was happening was that like some old person was just complaining that's the vibes i was getting um because it makes no sense why would i be allowed to film when i'm not allowed to use a tripod they basically said i can do anything but bring a tripod they were like you can bring a friend to film you you can film in our studios um, I can open the gym early for you, but just like I'm not trying to go work out at like 4 a.m Their main concern was just like other members being in the back of my video And I was trying to tell her like it would be so much easier for me to not get people in it If I had a tripod and like I was able to control where the camera points I still think I'm gonna have to find a new gym because I need to use a tripod Like I'm not gonna bother my friends to film me anytime I want to go to the gym I'm also not gonna not use a tripod and like that would mess with the quality of my videos the angles would be all tilted. Today I have a couple of meetings. One meeting is with my team, my managers. Um, we're just going to go over this year's goals, like what do I want to do this year, what's going on, what do we want to accomplish, how we feel in 2024. And then I have another meeting with the LTK team, which is the app that I link all of my outfits through. Um, it's in my bio, I'm also going to link it in the video. But all of my outfits that you guys see, I link. Um, so I have a meeting with them, just like a strategy meeting on how to better use their platform. I also plan on filming and editing some content today, so let's go. I got these clip-on earrings for like right here because I'm too scared to get the actual piercing and I just wanted to see what they would look like and also like I kind of feel like I need them. Wait, I love them. Let's continue the Q&A. Someone said fuck you. Girl, fuck you. What qualities do you look for in a relationship? I look for a person who is humble, who can communicate, who's honest, somebody who doesn't have an ego, just like a good person. Like I can't do fuck shit. Like if you are not a good person, I don't wanna be anywhere near you. It's probably my biggest thing. What's your favorite TV show? There was this TV show called Prison Break. Was insane. That was so many years ago though. Now, I think my favorite TV show is Money Heist. Um, I also just watched Berlin on Netflix. That was really good. And also, Suits. I'm really into Suits right now. What advice would you give to somebody who wants to build a platform? I would say you have to be consistent. Don't expect overnight results. And then also pay attention to what your audience engages and likes with most and make more of that content. That will help you to grow. But you have to be patient. Like, it is not going to happen overnight. Favorite luxury brand. I just love Bottega recently. Like they eat, like Bottega has been eating their collections. Um, I love like the patterns and the textures and the fabrics, like insane. Okay, I updated this filming corner and I still have to do one more update. I'm gonna add lights behind the mirror. I just brought one shoe rack back because I needed more room for shoes and I think it looks so much better. Like it's so much more symmetrical. Random, but. I got these shoes from ASOS, or ASOS, I don't know, however you guys pronounce it. They're so fucking cute. If you guys know, these are my favorite loafers. They're from EYTYS, they're just real cunty. These are just real cunty, okay? Like the square heel, the square front, very cute. Um, these are like $500, okay? But I think actually they're on sale right now on Essence for like 280 
So if you do want these, go ahead and get them from Essence. Um, I have them linked in my LTK. So I found something very similar on ASOS and I was like, oh my God, I think I need these. They're boots, same thing, square heel, square front, giving cunt, okay? <laughs> oh, I love these and they look so cool on. I'm actually gonna try them on because I, I need to try these pants on. I ordered those Jaded London pants from last week's video. One size larger. These are the shoes. Are these not so cool? They're so cool. I think I like these pants better too. They're a little bit baggier. Meeting one is done. Now I think I'm gonna film and then I have another meeting at 3.30. I'm gonna try to get in a video before the second meeting. Twizzlers are my favorite candy. Right now, the mission is to put lights behind this mirror. I have them right here. You guys like my little corner right here? This is where all the packages that I order just sit right there until they're ready for use. I just got these from Amazon. I hope they work. Let's get to work, guys. This is my favorite one right now. Pink birthday. Ah, I'ma make you feel like it's your special day. Wait, wait. He bent me up, Prietzel. <laughs> what am I doing? Like, this is literally me dancing. I'm supposed to be filming. Like it's your special day. You guys, all of my camera batteries are dead. Oh, I have them on? That took so much longer than expected, but look how fucking cool this looks. This is fire. I don't know how I didn't think about this before. No, I'm actually so obsessed with this. Time for meeting number two. The meeting is literally in one minute and I can't find the link. Google me? Is it through Google me? Nah, I found it. literally went so good. I love her. I've met with this team before, but it was other people. She's so nice. She's so cute. So now I'm just linking to actually this platform. She motivated me to post. I posted a TikTok. <laughs> I posted a TikTok and I said that I linked them in my bio and I literally didn't. I forgot to link them. Someone commented, I can't find the link. Oops. I post this to my story too while I'm at it. I need to go return those shorts and then I also need to clean this room up because this is fucking crazy. See you in a minute. It's literally freezing, but I wanted to show you my outfit. It's so cute. I just have like this windbreaker material, white shirt, cargos, and then my New Balance. These are my favorite running errand shoes. I just look like a cute dad about to go run some errands, but a cute cunty dad because he has earrings. I have 10%. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Charging required. To use climate keeper modes, the battery must be- Bro, you're not going to let me heat up my car because my battery's dead. Those pants that I got- um, remember they had a, like the piece thing on them last week? I have to go to the dry cleaners to see if they can get the stain out because hey, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I found the set on Alibaba, okay? And it ships from China and I contact them. I was like, you guys, this literally has a stain on it. They were like, okay, not my fucking problem. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? I'm all the way in China. Like, do something. Basically is what they told me. They literally admitted to me that it was their fault. Those red jaded London pants. I have to return them because I ordered the larger size. I'm going to keep the larger size. Why did jaded London make me pay $15 for a fucking return? Aren't returns usually free? 15 is crazy. $5. Like I'll pay $5. Sure. 10. Mm, you're pushing it. 15. Prison. You're going to prison. <laughs> I'm just gonna go return this real quick. So the tea is, this guy just told me that denim dye will never come out of jeans. Okay, great. So the factory lied to me. Now I'm like one outfit down for New York Fashion Week. Hi YouTube, I'm actually editing this video right now. I'm gonna end the video here. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and follow me on TikTok. Love you, bye.